What's up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Wednesday morning to you, and welcome to our devotional series. We're here to start your day off right with some encouraging words. Uh, today might be a little more encouraging you to do something, but it's also going to be a little challenging today as well. But I got a cool scripture. It's Isaiah 64, verse 4. It says, From days of old they have not heard or perceived by ear, nor has the eye seen a God besides you who acts in behalf of the one who waits for him. Just you can just you can just write that on a card and just think about that one throughout the day. That is so poetically written, so beautifully written, and then there's depths of insight to it. And so he's saying, hey, look, nobody can get their mind wrapped around you, God. Nobody set their eyes on a God like you or heard. Like this is so far beyond us. Like you, you the depth of your holiness and greatness is it's beyond us. You just need to put that out there. But the insight on the back half of the scripture is this, who acts in behalf of the one who waits for him. And I think that's the challenging part, right? I think I think for us to get our mind right, like nobody's seen a God or heard of a God like this is unbelievable. But this is a God who acts on those that wait for him. And I think that's where the challenge kicks in. I really want God to do a work in me. You know, some of us are saying, man, I want God to do a work in my marriage or my kids or, you know, whatever my future is. Like, we got all kind of, church right now is praying God do a work for legacy, help us get into this building situation. So like, we're, we're, but there's a key and it's waiting. And waiting can be so, so hard for some of us. Some of us are just, we got to go try and make it happen or force it to happen or whatever. And so what it requires, waiting requires unbelievable patience. And I don't know that anybody's ever accused me of being a patient person. And so I don't know about you, but like, I'll tell you the worst. I love golf. There's nothing worse than getting behind a slow group of golfers than having to wait all on them all day. It just, it just, it just wants to ruin everything, right? I'll tell you what the other one is, waiting for the doctor is the worst because you have to wait twice. Number one, you're in a waiting room with a bunch of other sick people. And so like, I don't want to be there, but I got to wait there because they're never on time. And then you got to go to the, some weird room and you got to put on the uncomfortable gown and the cold. It just, and you got to sit on the thing. Remember they pulled the sheet out and you had to sit on the sheet. I don't want any of that stuff. I hate waiting. Waiting is terrible, right? But God's like, no, 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 no. You need to buy into this waiting thing. And here's why. We wait for God's perfect timing. See, we, we have an issue, let's just be honest, we have an issue on the front end with impatience. And so we like to jump ahead of God because we want it now and we want it our way, so we're just going to go do it. So we go jump into things that we shouldn't do, take on jobs, go to school, start dating so-and-so. We just jump in ahead. And then when that doesn't work out, we're like, okay, God, I kind of I got ahead of myself on that one. You know, the other thing that the Bible speaks against, though, is, is waiting too long. I think the Bible would call that laziness. You're just sitting around waiting for God to do everything. It's like, no, right in the middle, right in that sweet spot is God's perfect timing. And his timing does not always line up with mine. It's very, it's very frustrating at times, but I always find this, God knows what he's doing. And this is the thing that you need to renew your mind to. God's timing is better than my timing. Let me say that again. God's timing is better than my timing. And so I've got to stay patient. And so while I'm staying patient, let me stay prayerful. While I'm being patient, let me keep learning and growing. While I'm being patient, let me work on me so that when I actually step into God's perfect timing, like I'm fully prepared. You know, I see that with a lot of the Old Testament stories is that God gives them a promise of something in the future and they have to wait on it. But it's while they're waiting that God is developing who they are so that they can actually be prepared to handle the dream that God gave them, the vision that God gave them. And so I just want to encourage you today, you might be jumping ahead on something. Is there an area of your life where you need to be a little more patient? Or did you miss God's timing on the back end? Have you been lazy and not active and not engaged and not doing something and miss God's timing? And so what we want to do is just recognize, no, God is actively trying to help people who sit there and try to find that perfect. I'm waiting on you, God, for that perfect timing. So let me pray for you today. Heavenly Father, I lift up everyone within the sound of my voice. And God, may we have perfect peace as we patiently wait for you. That's our prayer today in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody say amen. Church, I love you guys so much. God bless you. I will see you tomorrow.